It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back by now. You must know that you're part of the family. Thank you so much for joining us. Awesome to catch up ahead of a weekend. Yeah, man. When I think weekend, I think beautiful food to eat, like gourmet burgers and craft oh. burger, burgers, which still remain quite a strong trend and it's showing no, no signs of dissipating anytime soon, yeah. with new burger spots opening up regularly in every single city. Mm. But eating a burger doesn't have to be an unhealthy affair, you know? Why not try Moira's Fish Burger Alternative mm. and create your very own trendy burger spot right in your own kitchen? So it's all about some delicious fish burgers in your Feel Good Breakfast Show kitchen this morning. Now, fish is high in protein, low-fat food that provides a range of healthy benefits. Now, white-fleshed fish is, in particular is lower in fat than any other source of animal protein. So Moira's spicy fish cakes are guaranteed to be healthy and delicious as well. Moira, Hi. lovely to have you back in the kitchen. Thank you for having me. I'm looking forward to this one. Are you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Everyone loves burgers. And there's a huge trend at the moment with gourmet burgers. And, you know... They call them craft burgers. So why not take it into a fish burger? You, you know, debit and credit eating again. Yeah, there we go. And <laughs> so you eat a low-fat burger, but you have the bun. Okay. And so you kind of balance it out. Yeah. But also, fish is very tasty. Um, it's very understated. And yes, as you said, it's low-fat. You can use um, any firm fish. So we're using hake today. Some people even use pilchards to do this as a low oh, really? economical type um, one. Yeah. But then you have to add in extra breadcrumbs because it's a bit soft. OK, but I love um, the hake But yes, idea, let's yeah. get going. We're going to make the mixture first. All right. And then we're going to serve it with a lovely Asian um, relish. Ooh, um, with, nice. uh, with cucumber and sweet chilli and some corn all mixed into it with some rice running again. We'll, we'll do that in a while. That so it, let's all get right. over to the side to the food processor. All right. All right. So in, in the food processor, I've already got my hake. Okay, I'm adding in some green beans. Now these are the... Interesting. Yes, these yeah. are the Ku, um, French style green beans. I like them because beans are very nutritious. Yes. Uh, and this also helps to bind it. And it just adds an extra um, vegetables. And it's like hidden vegetables, you know, yeah. for those people who... They don't want to eat their <laughs> veggies. They love their greens, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm also adding in, um, for extra nutrition, the Ku baked beans. But yeah. these are the ones in chili sauce. Yeah, chili sauce. So it's, it's got that heat in it already, and it My adds in that word. extra flavor. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add in some chili, because they are spicy. It's, they're not so spicy that it burns you. It's just a yeah. lot of flavor. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add in some red Thai curry paste. A lot of, lot of flavor in there. Some Lots of fresh coriander. Lots okay. of fresh basil. We combine the two because they work so well These together. These are probably the most interesting patties I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, homemade patties are just yeah, the most awesome. I love that. I'm adding in some chutney. You can omit this if you're worried about the, the yes. sugar. But chutney just helps to balance out the sweetness. Um, and it, it, it goes so well with the, with the curry flavors. All right. We're adding in some lemon rind. Okay. Okay. Lemon or lime rind. And then we're going to add in, obviously, some salt and some pepper. Now, I don't put too much... Salt and pepper, and you can always add an after, but you just do need a, some salt yes. just to, to ignite Actually, the flavor. Actually, it'll further help that flavor, yeah. Correct. Now, I have, you'll notice I haven't added breadcrumbs in yes. there. Because sometimes Reasonable. the different fish, depending on if you use f uh, frozen fish or, or fresh fish, there's a different amount of moisture in it. So okay. now we first blitz, and, and we if see. we see it's too runny, we'll add in a little bit of right. um, breadcrumbs. Beautiful. So really, it goes quite quickly. And then we have a look at it, right. and you can see so you, you, you want a little bit more breadcrumbs because you want to be able to form it. Okay. okay. So I've added in a little bit of breadcrumbs. You can use old bread at home that you dry, and then you just add it in. All right. And that will just help really firm it up a little bit. And then what I like to do with this, you'll see, you can see it's all lovely. You can see all the different colors and everything. What I like to do that, let it stand or put it in the fridge for a little bit yeah. just to firm up, and then you form it into patties. All right. And you can see here, I've, I've already formed one into a patty for you. You can make them as big as you want to. Okay. I thought we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll make medium sized ones today. All right, let's go then, for it. And we just put it into a hot pan. All right. And you want to just griddle it. Perfect, there on we go. On either side. And remember, fish cooks quite quickly. Don't overcook it. Yes. Um, so a few minutes, or three to four minutes on each side, and then you take it out, drain it, and you put it onto the roll. Brilliant. So while well, that starts... Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to be prepping, but if you want to see one more time how we put these burgers together or how we made the patties, that keyword, by the way, is KU to 33728. That's KU to 33728. But here's a last look at how we put all those steps to get to the burgers. For the patties, place fish and Ku baked beans into food processor and blitz until smooth. Add basil, Ku green beans, coriander, chili, curry paste, chutney, seasoning and breadcrumbs and blitz until combined. Shape into patties and refrigerate for 20 minutes. For the corn salsa, mix cucumber, Ku kernel corn, sweet chili sauce, rice vinegar, coriander, red onions and seasoning. 
Cook fish cakes until brown on both sides. Place patty on bottom of the burger bun and top with the salsa. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And there you have it, the keyword KU to 33728 for our beautiful spicy fish burgers this morning. Moira, what do you what do you have there for a topic? Well, uh, I've got some ribbons of um, cucumber and then I've added in the KU kernel corn which was just drained. Okay. Okay, and then I've added in some rice wine vinegar and some sweet chili sauce and some fresh coriander. Yes. And that's really your relish. And then you just put it onto your burger bun. Oh, and look at that. There we go. All, All right. right. And then you put your, your burger patty on. Yeah, that does look so fresh and delicious. And then obviously you just, you can always put some extra on, but there's enough yeah. flavor in there to actually give us enough moisture and enough flavor in, in the burger patty. Absolutely. Oh, it's really wow. delicious, a lovely burger. You can add on any extra toppings, but I think yeah. there's enough flavor from this relish. And it's something nice and different to try for once, you know, as opposed to your, your, your usual burgers that you make Definitely. at home. Love it. There we go. Some spicy fish burgers right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. That keyword, KU, SMS at 33728. And we'll send you everything you need to know to make these delicious and bur uh, delicious burgers with a different spicy fish cake burgers. Now, make sure that you send us your tasty fish recipes. We'd love to hear from you. Food at expressoshow.com. You never know, we could be making your recipe live on air with Moira. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.